Do you ever get tired of the prestige grind for unlocks? Well, would you believe that grunts are the key to accelerating that? Stick around and find out why. You'll find grunts in several varieties throughout the bayou. Base, Cleaver, Torch, Miner, Lantern, Pistol, and Dr. Grunts. The base grunts are slow and easy to dispatch. If they hear you or get hit by something, they'll get aggressive and start searching the area to find you. Once they see you, they run in your direction and attack you when they're close enough. You do run faster than them, even when you're exhausted without stamina. So if you're in a hurry, you can just ignore them and they'll make a nice line behind you. Just remember, you'll have to deal with them once you slow down. There are sleeping grunts on the map. These sleeping grunts lay down and are harder to spot. They'll stand up and start looking for nearby hunters if they hear any sound. These blend in with the bodies laying around the bayou, but with a sharp eye, you can spot them in advance. They stand out from the environment just enough to distinguish them from the ones that don't get up. This lets you take them out before they get a chance to stand up and attack you. There are a variety of ways to handle grunts. The easiest way to deal with them is your tools. Simply give them a strong attack to the noggin with the tool of your choice, like dusters, your knuckle knife, or knife. If you prefer a stealthier approach, you can use throwing axes or throwing knives. Melee attacks are effective, but noisy. When you throw an axe or a knife, your hunter doesn't make the loud yell that normally comes with an attack. Both these throwing weapons take a grunt out with a shot to the torso or the head. With the throwing axe, if you hit them in the arm, you're not going to kill them immediately, but you can run up and pull out the axe and that'll finish the job. Unfortunately, throwing knives are going to require a little more damage, so you'll either need to do an additional melee attack or throw another knife at them. Another way you can take them out is to leverage special ammo. Both poison and incendiary ammo can take them out in a single body shot. They yell when set on fire, so you probably don't want to do that if you have incendiary in a silenced weapon. You can also use your weapons. If you're in the middle of a prestige, I recommend this option. This is a great way to speed up unlocking weapon variants and ammo types. Each grunt is only a little experience, but it adds up quickly. Each long ammo variant takes 900 experience to unlock. At 20 XP a pop, that's only 45 grunts. And at 10 to 20 grunts in a match, that's an additional unlock for the experiences from grunts alone in about every three to five games. That alone is a noticeable chunk of experience. But once you start adding in experience from immolators, hives, and armors when possible, your unlock rate is really going to speed up. If you don't have a weapon attachment, but have a three slot weapon, the best way is to off them with a light melee followed by a heavy. This lets you take care of three grunts in a row with one bar of stamina. Just be careful of leaving yourself out of stamina in a bad situation. Better yet, you can use any of the basic melee tools to prep a grunt so the XP can go to the weapon of your choice, like a pistol. For the knife and knuckle knife, it takes a light attack to the head first. Dusters, a heavy attack to the upper torso. And the heavy knife? You need to lead with a heavy attack to the legs, then follow any of these up with a strong attack to the head using any weapon of your choice. And there you go, easy unlocks for any weapon. Now for some reason, Hunt allows you to injure grunts. I can't remember a single time where this had a meaningful impact on a match, but it does exist. If you damage the leg of a grunt, they can no longer run and are limited to a slower shamble. When the arm takes damage, if they're carrying a tool, they're going to drop it. Oh, that's right. Grunts? They can carry items. Each variation of a grunt has a different item with a unique effect. I mentioned these earlier, but these variations are a torch grunt, which as the name implies is holding a torch. While they're still standing, they attack you with the torch they're carrying. The first hit does a bit of fire damage, charring your health, but if you let them hit you again, you'll light on fire. Be careful, because when they drop their torch, it ignites whatever it hits. Mainly, just keep an eye out for oil slicks and barrels. Lantern grunts. These grunts carry lanterns around. If one manages to hit you, the lantern explodes, doing significant fire damage and igniting you. When you kill one of these before they hit you, they drop the lantern on the ground. You can then pick it up and use it. Either throw it as part of a fight or burn a downed hunter. Take a mental note whenever you down one of these, so you can double back and use the lantern if needed. Minor Grunt, the third type of grunt that sets you on fire. This one has a helmet with a light on. If you hit its head, that light explodes. 
It ignites anything flammable in the area, including you, other AI, oil, and of course, worst of all, barrels. Cleaver grunts are probably the most common variation you'll see. When they hit you, their attacks make you bleed. Some grunts carry pistols. These pistol grunts aren't quite sure how to use them. They just club you over the head with it, and then the gun goes off, but it doesn't do any extra damage or effects. All that happens is it makes that gunshot noise, alerting nearby hunters of your location. Finally, we have a helpful one, the Dr. Grunt. Two things to make him stand out. One to stop healing, and the other to enable it. They don't exactly uphold their pledge of do no harm. Their weapon is a rusty medical saw. When they attack you, it deals damage and poisons you. Secondly is the more useful element. If you down them, they drop a med kit. So, always take a mental note when you down a Dr. Grunt. That extra med kit comes in clutch from time to time. Even though grunts are weak and predictable, if they catch you off guard in a gunfight, they could cause you to lose that fight. Now, if you're looking for an edge to win in those gunfights, I recommend you check out this deep dive on fanning.